So, we are going to be back on the Truly Bedrock server, because that is what we do here on these streams on Twitch. We're playing on Truly Bedrock to upgrade our farming base, our little tiny micro farming base. I want to get this thing wrapped up over the next, like, two streams, maybe. And then that'll be our next episode. And then after that, we can uh, focus on, you know, designing the, the actual mega base, right? I just want to actually complete a project for once. So far, we have, like, five things in here. Which is pretty okay. Uh, we got our piston door, which does... Doesn't? Doesn't? Oh, wait, hold up. Am I... It, it does, it does do, it doesn't. You know what? It's just trying to make me look bad. That's all it is. You know what? We'll come back to that one. I think it's, I think it's broken. Uh, you know what? No one guessed that, though. Anyway, we've got a little furnace array, fish farm, little uh, cam uh, bamboo and kelp farm up in there. We got a kelp farm that we're working on. And then we're going to have auto storage. We got the iron farm and training hall up above. It's currently a villager breeder right there. We got stuff happening. All kinds of stuff. Now, why is this door broken? I don't think I did anything to break it. Question mark? So. Uh, you know what? I guess we have a solid block right here. Whereas that should be a piece of glass. Or like at least... Yeah, like, yeah, a piece of glass right there. Okay, that'll fix that. This was literally working right as we logged off. So, I don't know why it's broken. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand. Okay, I think it's just, like, being weird. I honestly don't know, though. I could, I could not tell you why that's being weird. Is it just, like, someone messing with it? So confused. Like, that worked. Okay. I think it's fine. I, I think someone might have messed with it. Yeah, there's no button on the outside right now. Although, I think that was from me. Okay. Yeah, it still works. I, I don't know what the problem was. It, was. it was literally perfectly fine when we logged off. So, you know what? It's a bug rock. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Anyway, welcome in, everybody. How are you guys doing today? Do the micro farms so you can do the macro farms. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we'll have the little micro farms and then these things will unironically actually be helpful to us when we're building up the mega base. Like at least the smelter is going to be helpful, right? The rest of it is maybe a little bit meme -y, but that's fine. We can, we can do some things for the memes. We can do some things for the memes. It's all good. Uh, so we do have a list of things that we're going to try and get in here tonight. Uh, we've already got the smelter and these three right here. And then we've also uh, got the redstone door. We need to install the auto storage. We need to get a cobblestone farm, a chicken cooker, a wool farm, a bee farm, a too tall flower farm, a lava dripstone farm, a cocoa beans farm, a silverfish farm, a basalt farm, and an obsidian farm. And, uh, okay. Um, <laughs> there might be there might be too many things on this list. Let's mark all these ones with like a little a little dash. There we go. Because the, these ones are all done. Okay. And that leaves us with about a hundred more to do. Actually, kelp isn't done, but that's fine. We'll, we'll get to that. I might actually want to jump over to the creative world to try and figure out the kelp farm real quick. Because I, I've been thinking about it a little bit after the last stream. Oh, snow farm. That's a good idea. And I still can't figure out how to make it work. <laughs> so maybe we just jump over to Creative World for that one real quick, see? Uh, we're also going to get an egg farm in here. Did I write that down? I didn't. I know how to build the egg farm. I, I, it's a really complicated build, but I know how to build it. So don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll do a full tutorial on that one of these days. It might be like a 30-minute video, though. It's really, really complicated. So much redstone. I don't think anyone's ever made a farm for it, though. So that, that'll be cool. Hello, that guy. Welcome in. Blue crew got upset them cluttering up their ceiling. I know, right? Maybe I'm upset that they're cluttering up my floor. Maybe that's how it should be. Uh -huh. Okay, so in theory, a kelp farm is really easy. Uh, especially the one that we're building since it has like zero anything in it. So in theory, this should be, this should be easy. We're just going to build it right here. This appears to be my new temporary area. Now, the problem is, is that we have the dispenser and the piston right on, like, top of each other. So, powering this without powering each other is kind of a pain. And we also cannot have anything in this zone right here, because that's where the bubble column is. So, we just can't use that layer. And then the back wall is, like, right here. So, we can't really go outside of this. 
So we have some limitations when it comes to this build that you wouldn't normally have. How do you spell water? Oh, water. <laughs> it's just so fun to say. I'm going to I'm going to keep saying it for like 10 years after it's after it's not funny because it's fun to say. Hello crafty, welcome into the stream. Glad you enjoyed the tutorials. Uh whoops, that's that's a quick way to flood the world. Uh, I think we can move the piston to the top and that would be fine. So, let's try that. We're also going to have the stairs on these sides for our uh you know, flowing of water. Keep those in there. Should be good. And then we just got to grow that kelp somehow. Let's just place it in like that, shall we? Uh, does the kelp grow on coral? I don't know if you can place it on coral. Um, off the top of my head, I'd say no, because I've never seen it. But, well, no, I mean, you can place kelp on, like, everything that's underwater. So, I, I probably, yeah. Like, kelp doesn't really care as long as it's a full block, right? So you, you probably can. Uh, I don't have any coral, though, and I'm not really interested in pickle farm. Okay, now we could try the observer clock method. That would probably be the easiest and the simplest way to go. But uh, I don't know if the timings for that are going to work out because we need to give this enough time to reflow, right? So we need, we need a clock that's slower than this. So let's try like this right here. That would power the bottom. Okay. And then we just need to power this top one. So we could just do it like that. Now you see this is going to be wasting bone meal though. So, I don't know how much kelp is in there, but I know that we're wasting bone meal from that. That's another consideration that we need to think about. A seagrass farm? Yeah, but nobody needs seagrass, right? Okay, so we use like 45... Or sorry, we use like 15 bone meal to 8 kelp, which is not great. So that's why we don't want to use this method right here. Instead, we'll try and... Ooh. I don't think we can have redstone right here either, actually. Because I'm pretty sure our door is, like, right above this. So this is going to be a very compact little build. Um... Ooh, interesting. For all my seagrass needs. I don't, I don't need seagrass! I've never needed seagrass. Never once in my life have I needed a seagrass. But, uh, thanks for the consideration, question mark? Okay, let's let's try this. We'll we'll do a redstone right there, and then mm, uh, I don't know. Uh, we can we can take this down a notch, and then like do something like this. I don't I don't know. We need to power that dispenser somehow. I'm not sure how we can do it. Maybe it's just not a big enough area to really get it in there. Because we got the bubble column in the way and the piston door. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll come back to it. Maybe we'll come back to it. So we got some breeding turtles. And when was the last time you did that? When was the last time you ever even thought about farming turtles? When was the last time you even saw yourself a turtle egg? When was the last time... You did anything? Micro farm isn't looking too micro. Hey, now! How dare you be accurate with your cr criticism? Uh, okay, then. I think we can probably fit a little something right here in this little area as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, we have that thing on a randomized timer, so we are actually going to be getting some passive, passive things from it. Use seagrass this week to get turtle eggs. I don't believe it. Prove it. Prove it. Okay, so at some point we really do need to get the uh, auto storage in here. I kind of want to save that for last because that would mean that I need to move all of our chests and then they're going to split into two chests and then I got to replace the chest and put the items back in there and that's just it's, just, it's just, it just sucks. That's all it is. It just sucks. And uh, I think instead of doing that, we're going to instead...
Can we just get the egg farm? I think the egg farm is probably the the most difficult one. So we'll, we'll install that first. That can go right here in this little corner. <laughs> They're gonna have to fall on top of it to get down. <laughs> yeah, aliens are gonna have to fall on top of it to get down. Okay. Do I have a chicken? I just want an egg farm in that corner because it's gonna be ridiculous. That's all it is. Oh, hey, look at that. I got myself an egg. Some ladders real quick. Get myself a chicken. Here, chicken, chicken, chicken. Can you, can you come down here, maybe? What, what is happening up here this, at this top area? I don't, I don't know if we're going to be able to get this guy down. Oh, don't, uh, you know what? Let's get, let's get a lead, actually. A lead is probably the best way to go. Then we can just force him out. There we go. Or not, apparently. I'm gonna die falling down this thing, aren't I? I need, I need more ladders. I don't have enough ladders to get out of this thing. Somebody put a giant, like, I don't know, like, puddle on my roof, and it's just not convenient. Can you please just come over here? You know what? This chicken sucks. Goodbye, chicken. You, you had your chances. I gave it a chance. I gave it a chance. It just refused to cooperate. So it had to die. There was no other option. There was no other option. What can I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I gave it a chance. Uh, instead, we're going to open up our beautiful piston door and go rob this hole over here of eggs. Is that, oh, is there not chickens in here anymore? Oh. It appears I do not have a backup plan. Interesting. Seven eggs. Well, let's just hope we get a chicken. Let's just hope that we get a chicken. I'm not this chicken. I did, actually. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. Hmm. I, I, I'm just, like, imitating the villagers now. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> it's a pretty good imitation. In my defense. We just literally need a hopper. Like, a carpet. Oh, I don't even have enough for a carpet. And then... Well, you know what? We'll, we'll use a... We'll use a slab. Unless someone has some chickens out there. I can, or, yeah, some chickens I can shear. Are there some sheep out there I can shear real quick? There was before. That's how I got the rest of my wool. What's the project of this stream? Uh, we are building up our base full of uh, little farms in there. So a bunch of smaller projects in, in one. No one has sheep anymore. We need a sheep for a wool farm anyway. Stab a trapdoor. Yeah, but I, I want a carpet. Well, you know what? A slab's probably not a bad idea, because then if you accidentally open it, uh, they're not going to get out immediately, right? Hey, Mochi. Welcome in. Any idea on shops? Yeah, we'll be selling some stuff from our farms at some point. I don't know. I've never really been big on the shops. I also need a chest. Chest! There we go. Okay, so the kelp farm is currently evading my extreme redstone skills, so instead we're gonna build another very difficult farm, and this one is the egg farm. Not many people know how to build these. Uh, it's a very complicated build. You need a chest, hopper, a slab. We're going to be going ahead and placing some trapdoors around this thing. I guess we just place it right here. Bam. See, it's a very difficult thing. Not many people will know how to do it. And then we need two layers of trapdoors as well. 
It's just the perfect little build to go right here in this corner. I can't fit anything else back here besides this one exact build. So that's why I've chosen to build myself a little bit of a uh, <laughs> little bit of an egg farm. Okay, and then we have seven eggs. Come on, give me a chicken. Give me a chicken, please. Okay, it's the last egg. We got this. We don't got this. Dang. Let's hope we get lucky. Do I have any? Oh, I, I got more eggs. I happen to have a lot more eggs than I thought I did. Okay, we're good. We're good. As long as online, I didn't even know. Chicken, 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 chicken. Give me a chicken, chicken. Come on, give me a duck. I don't know any other birds. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Why is there? Why is this so uncommon? Hey, there we go. First try. Okay, that's all I needed. You know what? We'll, we'll try for a couple more. <laughs> duck. 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 Goose! There we go. We got it. Very good. <laughs> there goes another one. Love it. Okay, that's all you need. And that is how you build an overly complicated egg farm and your Minecraft survival worlds, everybody. I bet you've never seen a build as cool as that one. It's, it's insane, I know. Uh, don't, don't let yourself get preoccupied by that one, because we got so many other lesser farms to build. Emu, ostrich. Okay, well, everyone in the chat is just, like, giving me new, new names. I, I don't think half of these exist. Yeah, they're stuck in the corner. It's fine. It doesn't matter. I don't care if they're stuck in the corner. What do I care if they're stuck in the corner? They're, they're, I built it in the corner for a reason. Jeez. <laughs> Llama. What? Penguin? Penguin's a good one. Are, pe are penguins birds? Penguins are birds, right? I don't know. They don't seem very bird-like. They're, they're probably the least bird bird of all birds. Oh, pelicans! Pelicans are, like, the best, though. Can't go wrong with pelican. The dodo. -do. Eh. They're extinct. No one cares. Okay, what do we, what do we want to do next? I guess we should go ahead and at least mark out the area that we need for the auto storage, since that's going to be one of the biggest builds on this platform right here. So, uh, let's head over to the creative world for that, actually. Because, I forget how big it is. I think it's just two blocks back? It might be three, though. I'm not entirely sure. So, where, where is that build at? I think it's over here. Might have been an overshot. Uh, not by much. A turkey. Eh. They have zero self-defense skills. We have we have a holiday celebrating their like murder. So yeah. Oh yeah. See, it is three back because you need the the dropper and the the thing and then the redstone. Right then. Yeah, it, it would probably be helpful if I ever remembered how to build my stuff. Oh wait, is that the right build? That's the right build. Oh, uh, it's technically four or five back, though. Well, that's just for the auto on switch, actually. So it's only three. Well, four. Hmm. You know, it's fine. We can we can break the rules a little bit. No one will ever know. You you guys you guys won't tell anyone, right? If I if I break my break the rules, the the entire chat's just like bird names right now. <laughs> Y'all still going off about that. Jeez. You guys out there looking up different types of birds now? <laughs> I, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised in the slightest. <laughs> not one person has said duck. I'm very sad for duck kind. Okay, it's two and two, right? Okay. 
and then... Right, how big do we want this thing to be? Because we can probably only do, like, three, three chests. I said duck. I know, I said duck, but, like, you guys didn't say duck. Oh, yeah, it's an extra two on the side as well. Uh, maybe we'll just build it into the back wall. Building it into the back wall is probably the best way to go. And then take a screenshot of that. Okay. Ain't these supposed to be on different time? No, I guess not, because the, the resident torch is a different timer. Okay. You know what my favorite bird is? Pterodactyl. You can't beat it. I don't know, Ash. I never connect world. Did it crash? Because Silent 2 got disconnected as well. Did I get banned? I might have gotten banned. Hold up. Please hold. I have admin access. I will just unban myself real quick. Oh, never mind. Oh, I wasn't banned. Dang. No bans for, for me today. So sad. Maybe some other day. Some other day. Don't worry. It'll happen. It'll happen. <laughs> it's not even a dinosaur. That's a reptile. It's Don't worry about it. Pterodactyl is... You know what? If a penguin is a bird, a pterodactyl is a bird too. It's literally like... It's more bird-like than a penguin. It's better than the dodo. Okay? That's just all it is. Everybody, everybody's running. Yeah, it must have been a little server crash or something. Hey, Babush, welcome back. Hopefully you're having a good one at work. But also, get back to work. You ain't getting paid to watch live streams? Jeez. <laughs> okay, can, how much room do we have back here? It's kind of difficult to know. If... Okay, so this... We can, we can go to this layer right here. Okay. Okay, we can't go above that layer, which is convenient. You know, all the screenshots I took, I didn't check how tall it was. Let me check my screenshots. I don't need to go back and forth. I didn't get a screenshot of the front. Cool, convenient. See you later, Baboosh. Yeah, Twitch has some weird words blocked. Okay. Oh, it goes one beneath the ground. Okay. That's that's what I was wondering. Okay. There we go. Now I know what I'm doing. Or do I? <laughs> you guys are still going on about bird names. <laughs> Okay, so it's going to go over to here, and then we're going to have our redstone in this area. Yeah, we don't need to break the rules a ton. We just need to break the rules a little bit. I don't know how I'm going to top the incredible egg farm that we have set up, but now we need to get some auto storage installed because our little chest pile simply is not cutting it. So we need to move all those chests out. We're going to install a little uh, 3x3 storage system right here, and then we're actually going to be breaking the rules because we got to go outside of the envelope of the base just by just by a couple of blocks because I want to have the, uh, the storage system built into the wall instead of having the chest be like out here. And I, I just think it'll look nicer. So I'm breaking my self-imposed rules. Okay? Don't tell anybody. You're not, you're not going to tell anybody, right? <laughs> you know what? Okay, I've learned my lesson to not bring up any type of, you know, bird on stream. Because you guys will just go off on a tangent. Like, it's just like... <laughs> I guess I need to, you know... Get updated on my on my bird names. Jeez. <laughs> it's 
the dumbest this is the dumbest thing that you guys have done in a while and I'm so proud <laughs> you've you've learned well you've learned well okay so it's gonna be like chess and then it's ornithology sir get it right um actually it's ornithology <laughs> Jammer Chase. If that's not even a real one, that's from that's from the Hunger Games. Get out of here. One, two, three. <laughs> you, you think you're gonna sneak past the Hunger Games reference in my stream? No. <laughs> get out. Get out of here. <laughs> ain't ha Ain't happening. Okay. I watch way too many movies. I have no defense. It's you got me there. You don't. You don't got me there. <laughs> yeah. You know I'm probably gonna watch another movie tonight. I don't know which one yet, but I'm gonna. And you can't stop me. Well, you, you probably could stop me. I don't know how, but... Probably could. I, I need more, more chests. Let's see. The Hunger Games are really good movies, though. Uh, especially that new one that released. Like, the, the prequel one. Uh, I forget what it's called. Is it, like, the... Uh, I don't know. It's got some stupidly long names. Like, the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes or some... Some garbage. Like, bro, just call it Hunger Games prequel. Like, come on. A ain't nobody got time for your elegant, poetic name with hidden depth and detail and meaning. Just just call it Hunger Games. Oh, actually, I think it was Hunger Games Ballad of... You know, I can't be bothered to remember. That one. Anyway. Twas good. Twas good movie. That's the exact name. You know what? Hunger Games. Uh, the Ballad of Songbirds and Stinks. That was actually the, the real... Dang it. I know too much. I know too much. Stupid names like a Phantom Menace or Attack of the Clones. No, that's a subtitle. See, it's Star Wars 1, Phantom Menace, right? It's a subtitle. If it's more than, like, three words... Okay, more than four words, because I got to count for Revenge of the Sith, then it's dumb, okay? <laughs> Slowly try to swim in lava. That's not good. Is it Harry Potter series? What? Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me about no Harry Potter series, True Pat. Are they making a Harry Potter s s show? Don't, don't be lying to me now, because I've been waiting for a Harry Potter show for, like, eight years now. Uh, don't, don't you know, threaten me with a, with a good time over there. Prove it. Link it. I, I need you to fact check yourself. Good vibes, Tuesday. Spicy water. Isn't spicy water just hot sauce? I should go help Slay anyway. <laughs> I don't know where Sloy is. He could he could be anywhere. He, I didn't see his name tag over here. Can you take my IOU? I guess I'll just have to give him another one. I was thinking about getting a bunch of leather and just spamming this area of IOUs. <laughs> Because he gave me four netherite. <laughs> I don't know how to help him. I don't know where he's at. <laughs> I hope I'm getting more netherite. No! 
<laughs> no, to pay him back for the netherite ingots that I that he already gave me. Oh my god, he is netherite mining. Oh, okay. He's never getting by vibes. Many an adventurer have uh, been doomed by the navigation of vibes. I think he's pretty good navigating. He'll probably figure it out. Uh, I got some fire res potions. Yeah, I don't actually have like a ton that would actually help with that situation. Because like probably he just had like a lava thing spill down into his little walkway. He's got netherite gear, or at least he should. He gave me netherite. He should he, he should have plenty of netherite uh, to make his stuff netherite gear. So he should be fine on that. Uh, but like his food and stuff, he probably lost that. Um, but I, I could give him some like fish, I guess. Stack of netherite ingots. Oh my god. Got, okay, well, someone's going for a richest, uh, richest person. Shop. That, that checks out. Okay. Ah, jeez. Okay, I need to focus on actually building this. Y'all distracting me over here. Uh, also, Crystal, thank you very much for five months of resubscribe, Rich. How you doing tonight? Welcome back to another stream. You would never. No. No, you would never help me get a project done on time. Jeez. Don't you know I got deadlines and stuff? My god. Okay, we need to throw away garbage. So, garbage, go by. Wood, bam, 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 bam. Got a redstone box over here. Uh, I don't think this is an observer. I think it's an observerless build. And then... No. Just no, Ash. Or uh, Archangel. Just no. It can't it, it can't happen. It won't happen. Oh, there's this Lloyd. No. No amount will get you to make me do that. It will not happen. And uh, it's really just... Uh, oh, repeaters. 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 Do I have any, actually? Not really. I don't know how many I need, to be fair. 13. Probably not 13. And then a comparator as well. We'll just like some slabs and stuff. And no, no offer will do it. None. <laughs> Don't you have like 500k? Even chat's calling your bluff. <laughs> you want 20 bajillion? Haha. <laughs> Bet you can't make that offer. Fine, fine, fine. I'll settle for one bajillion. Um. Ah, <laughs> oh, droppers. That's the other one I need. Okay. I I'm trying to, like, remember what resources this thing takes to build. I'm just brain farting all over the place over here. Only four droppers? Okay, I think we should go do a bit of mining real quick, Seize. And can we just, like, break through here? Did they actually properly seal this up? I swear, there's a mine shaft right there. Oh, the floor keeps going this way. Is this it? No. Why does the floor go all the way back here? I know the mine shaft went down, like right here. Uh. Okay. Well, I guess that would do it. Right. Okay. So the staircase would go down. 
through this floor. Okay, so it's gonna be completely buried. Right. That that makes sense. There's probably still a way back there at some point. That's why the floor goes so far. Okay. Well, that makes sense. I there's another mine shaft in the area. You think it's like behind this hopper chain or something? Or maybe like I don't want to go down the bottom because I don't need deep slate. I need like regular cobble. I guess we'll just go find a spot. How about that? Ow. I'm glad that golem wasn't angry at me because I would have just instantly died there. <laughs> Oh, we got another Ultra Flex. Jeez. Uh, yeah, I got like three of those I need to go do right now. Jeez. Uh, thank you so much, Ash. That's wild. Cobblestone generator. Yeah, you know, I really should build a cobble farm, but that's next on the list. Yeah, it just means you got more things to harass about me. Yeah, this is facts. This is facts. Now, I do actually need to go fight a Wither at some point because I need a beacon. And then I need to... Um, I think we're going to mine out the center chunk of our base. So I think we're going to mine out this chunk right here. And have storage going down for all the farms. Like a big wraparound storage system. I think that could be kind of fun. Oh, I don't have my texture pack for quieter rain. That's why the rain's so loud. Yeah, we are going to build a cobblestone generator, though. But then that would require me to actually use the cobblestone generator. And... Nah. Send to this. Yeah, so make sure that you send me a picture of your skin, or like your skin file, on Discord. And then I'll mark your DM as unread, and then I won't look at it for two months, two months and then we will do all of them at once. I'm gonna build, like, little chibi, chibi avatars of you guys. Now, right now, I don't have a place to build them, which is why I haven't done it, right? Uh, so we'll make a little place in the base for that. And then we'll have, like, a whole lineup. It'll be, like, little, little Funko Pops or something like that, you know? <laughs> Giant head, little body, you know? <laughs> Just cute little things. Automate it. All I do is supply it with the TNT. Yeah, I could bomb it out. Uh, really, I was thinking about mining it partially just for the blocks, to be honest. Because I, I need cobble and stone and stuff like that. Especially for, like, all the redstone that we're going to be doing. I need I need quite a bit. Okay, hopefully that's enough for right now. Wait until the last stream of the season to build them. Well, no. We're gonna, we're gonna do some, something else. You'll see. Don't be calling me out like that. Ah, Jeez. <laughs> Three ready to be done already. There's a couple. There's a couple. Hey, you know, it took you guys so long to get 100,000 points. And you, you probably had those 100,000 points for a long time. You probably could have done it at any time. But no, you, you chose to wait. So now you got to wait some more. You know, that's fine. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I got to, like, actually go design the thing. And, like, the creative world and stuff. Like, it's not something you can just throw together. Like, you don't want me to build an ugly statue of you, do you? Building a statue of you kind of requires me to know what you look like, you know? Or at least what your, what your Minecraft skin is. You admit nothing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know everything about how much you've procrastinated. Because it's how much I've procrastinated. Can't out-procrastinate the procrastinator. Is that really enough for four chests? Wow, chests are so expensive. Let's get rid of those. Okay, so I believe... Let me look at my picture again. Okay. 
Hopper's on right. Oh, you know what? I think, it, yeah, it goes a block above the chests is what happens. Yeah, block above the chests. So I got to have another one right here. And then this one isn't going to let me place it. Unless I jump up there, which is really annoying. Okay. And then... Oh, I still got to jump up for that. Jump up. And then... Jump up. And then... Get down. Okay. Silent 2 is still fishing. Give him a break. Uh, no, nah, he's just chilling. Uh, he's doing the, the replay buffer, or... I keep, I keep wanting to say replay buffer. He's doing the replay mod. Which does not show my player skin, but I think I can turn off my player, so just be invisible. There you go to see blocks getting built. Um, well, we'll see that in the episode after next. I'm gonna try and see if I can make some sort of decent little replay mod. Because that's... Uh, he's actually logged in on Java Edition right now. I showed that in a previous stream. Okay. Uh, and then Hopper, Hopper, and then... Oh, we need another chest right here, don't we? Because that is... the output for things that don't get sorted. Bam. I don't know. We'll put a stair right there or something. <laughs> uh, I'd probably go up in the, the dragon the dragon capsule. Seems like the most reliable one. I don't know about the Boeing capsule or the or anything from Russia right now. And also, uh, Virgin Galactic doesn't go to space, technically. Not up to, like, ISS level, or anyway. And then, I don't know about the Shinzu. And... Orion's probably fine, right? Yeah, probably whatever the regular one that goes to the ISS is. And then... The Dragon Capsule. Because those, those two seem like the most reliable. Right, I do want to go to space at some point. Seems likely in the next couple of decades we'll have, like, commercial trips to space. Especially if we get, like, space tourism going. Like a little, uh, little space hotel. Probably not that little. Space stuff is kind of big. But also, I want to go to the moon, man. The moon! Okay, I need blocks. What blocks do I want to build with? I don't really have that many blocks. Okay. Oh yeah, this is the blue origin too. Yeah, there's a lot of new, a lot of new space stuff. A lot, lot of good things happening. Very, very good time to be a space nerd. Like myself. Uh, oh, we still need. Let's see. Hold up. I might be, I might have been messing this up a little bit. Yeah, you need the economies of scale to, like, really kick in for commercial space flight. Because right now it is just the ultra-rich, right? Okay, so that's... Yeah, it's the hoppers on the right, elevator on the left. And then we only need two elevators. Because the items go down, they go back up, they go down, they go back up. And then they go down. Uh, so then on the far side, we need blocks to the sides of the hoppers. Okay, that's the part I was confused about. 
But yeah, that's why, like, SpaceX is kind of revolutionizing space travel. With the reusable rockets, everyone's like, oh, you can't do it. Because, like, we were just throwing away the entire rocket every time we sent something to space, which is, like, it's like throwing away your car after going to the grocery store. It's, it's kind of, kind of not that great <laughs> to just throw away the whole vehicle, right? Um, yeah, now that we're not doing that, uh, it's significantly, significantly cheaper to go to space and send stuff to space. And then as they keep going and as the rockets get larger and more reliable and... I mean, they're already very reliable as is. All that stuff is going to play into the, the cost of it. And then NASA's actually sending people back to the moon... And a couple years, I think 2026 is their goal or something. Something like that. I mean, rocket fuel is literally just like hydrogen and oxygen. I mean, that's that's it. Bam, you get yourself some rocket fuel. <laughs> so it's not really, not really that expensive. Of course, you know, there's ways to make it cheaper, but... Yeah, it could be, could be significantly worse. Or kerosene, I think, is another one that they use. But I'm pretty sure SpaceX uses hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen for the actual fuel, and then you need the oxygen for it to actually burn in space, since there's got to be, you know, air for it to burn. Since you're in space, there ain't no air. And then, yeah, I think a, a couple of the older ones use kerosene. The... I want to say one of the NASA ones used kerosene. If it was cheap or easy, we'd already have moon bases. It's cheap comparatively to what it was. Yeah. I mean, if you're looking at NASA, like, yeah, they're they're very expensive. But also, they, they get a lot done with the money that they do get. They get, like, really not that much money compared to uh, how much taxes and stuff and money the government's got. Really not that much. And they do a lot with it, so. Oh! In this area now. But yeah, like the, the cheaper reusable rockets, those are obviously gonna go a lot further. Uh, something about this is not quite right. I think I might have it built off by a block. Yeah, I got it built off by a block. Yeah, the repeaters need to be a block over. Okay, that's unfortunate. Let me, let me double check that just to make sure. Yeah, the repeaters need to be going into... Dang it. Repeaters need to be going into the droppers. Like these guys down here. It's probably the easier way to build it anyway. Have a good one, Warden. We'll see you on the next one. Ah, so I died again. Stop dying, mister! At least all the netherite doesn't, like, burn in, burn in lava. Otherwise, that'd really be sad. <laughs> Found the place where he died. Dies again. Stop! Yeah, that's, that's another thing as well. Uh, NASA is on the forefront of space exploration. So they're, they're designing all the technology. They're testing everything. They're make, creating the protocols. They're making the safety standards. They're figuring out how to do things. And then once they pave the way, then, you know, commercial companies come through and, and do it with the groundwork that NASA has laid out. Uh, that's why they're kind of not too worried about um, retiring the ISS, the International Space Station. Because low, low Earth orbit is not really a big deal anymore. Like, it's, we've, we've been in there for a while. And now other companies are coming in. They're going to be starting to do their own little space stations and stuff like that. So they, they paved the way. And now other people can come in and do it with uh, commercial commercial assets and do it for significantly cheaper as well. 
because NASA's not in the, the business of making money, right? They're, they're exploration and science and discovery and trailblazing. Yeah, space elevator would be great. We're, we're having some technology that, like, maybe someday we'll get there. Because, like, the physics of it works out. We just need a material strong enough to build a wire out of, which, like, carbon nanotubes, some promising research on that, on that front. There's, there's, we got, we got top people working on it. Uh, okay, and then we gotta, like, build the, the thing over here. This is such an easy build, but I always mess it up slightly, somehow. Uh, I think this right here needs to be a slab, and then... Just send the redstone up like that. Probably do that on this one, too. I know. I, I wish they would just, like, deorbit the ISS in pieces. Because, like, the, it went up there in pieces using the space shuttle, right? And they, they piecemealed it together. One little module and section at a time. So, like, we could just re reverse it and bring it down and put it in a museum. That'd be so cool. Uh, but yeah, they're going to try and burn that up in Point Nemo, I think it's called. That's like the most remote place on Earth furthest from land. That's where all of the space junk, everything that burns up, ends up there. Somewhere in like the bottom of the ocean out there. I forget which ocean, but it, it's down by like Australia. It was never meant to return to Earth. I know, but we have the technology. Uh, once Starship gets a little bit more reliable, which like couple years that'll be that'll be good you could probably fit an iss module inside of that okay i forget what the red sun right here looks like so but yeah it's it's gonna it's gonna be a sad day when the iss burns up uh let's see when are they planning on doing that when is the iss retiring Coming down is what people <laughs> search for. Just give me, just give me a year, Google. Coming down. I, I guess retiring doesn't do it. End of 2030. Okay. You know, we got six years. I think we could, we could get a plan together to, to bring it back in pieces in six years. What are we playing? Truly bedrock on the Minecraft server. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I mean, it's definitely, like, it's got to come down. Like, we can't just leave it up there. Right. We can't leave it up there indefinitely. Because uh, that's that's um, just space junk. You don't want that. Like, if something hit the ISS and it exploded, that would be a whole... Uh, I think it's the Kardashev Cascade or something. Oh, I forget what it's called. For, like, one one piece of space thing explodes like a satellite and then all of the shrapnel from that is going like 20,000 miles an hour literally around the earth just zipping around and then at that speed even like a fleck of paint is like a bullet so everything else explodes and that's what the movie gravity is kind of based on uh good movie by the way you should check it out if you haven't seen it it's good stuff we got a pole Preferably one that doesn't explode. Yeah, everyone prefers ways that don't explode. I think. You know what? Here's an idea. We crash the ISS into the sun. We can make that work. No. <laughs> it's actually really hard to crash things into the sun because we're rotating it. So it's like, it's hard to hit directly into it. Interstellar when it re it's re-releasing in theaters? I've never seen it in theaters, but I've seen it a couple times. Really good movie. Love it. Tis good. Tis good indeed. Can't go wrong with Interstellar. It seems like all we get nowadays is like re-releases and remakes though. Which like, you know, it's a it's a safe bet, but it's always good to have some originals. Okay. So, the redstone for this is complicated. 
And by complicated, I mean it's like four blocks. I don't think I'm building this stupid thing right. I designed this thing. I'm actually really happy with it, but I can never remember how to build it. It's just not, it's not in my DNA to remember how to build it. It's not even particularly complicated. I don't think anyone's going to be able to really see the ISS come down because it's going to be so far away. That's kind of the whole point is for it to, you know, not come down near people. Oh, wait, this needs to be a block lower. My bad. Yeah, like that. There we go. And then that powers all this redstone. So we just need to hook that in here somehow. Uh, I guess I would use a piece of glass for that. That, that makes the most sense. Not right there. Ooh, will. Ooh, will. <laughs> Love that stupid sound effect. <laughs> Isn't SpaceX the one that keeps exploding and take off? No, so like how, how SpaceX works is when they're designing a new rocket, it's fast, quick iteration. So they don't care what happens to it. Like, they don't care if it explodes on their first, you know, or third or fifth launch. Because that's kind of the point. Like, they want to figure out all the issues with it, right? So, like, that's why if you see a headline like, oh, SpaceX rocket explodes. It's like, it's kind of, it's kind of the point for their new ones to explode. But, like, the Falcon 9 and the Falcon Heavy, those are incredibly reliable rockets now. They've launched... And landed hundreds of times. And they're completely fine. Super ultra reliable. But like the first 10, 20 versions of it. Or the first 10, 20, you know, iterations, little launches that they were doing. Yeah, they exploded those. That's kind of the point. That's, uh, that's, how, that's how it works. Uh, we need one of these to be glass. Yeah, so it's not actually a problem. And it's not like they need the rocket after they test it either. Because they, they need to rebuild it to upgrade it anyway it's like if you look at all the original versions of starship they look super janky and dumb and they all blew up and you know what it's fine uh but now the current versions of starship really well look really well good looking that was a, a very good sentence and then uh they're getting very close to orbit now so like two or three more starship explosions and we'll have a great rocket that's like the biggest rocket ever. And it like self lands and it gets picked up by these little chopstick arms. And it like, it's crazy. All right, just give them like a couple years. Everyone's always like, ah, oh, these rockets don't work. And then they blow up and it's like, oh, two years later. It's like, oh, they got a crazy rocket that just, that just works. It just works. Yes, you're, you're a nerd. You've been since the 80s. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yes, we're all nerds in the chat. Um, actually, we're all nerds. <laughs> yes. Yes, indeed. Oh, you know what? The... Oh, what you call it? The stupid little clock goes right down here. I gotta stop pillaring out of the deep slate, because now I don't know which, which blocks I need. Uh, it's one of these ones. I think... Did I do this right? Oh, okay, I see. I need a repeater! Ah, ran out of repeaters. I need a separate autocrafter for repeaters. So it's just like... No. That. Two and two. And then it's literally just like, solid block, rest on torch, and then... Solid block? Yeah. That'll work. Technically, this is supposed to have a piece of redstone just on top of it instead of a glass. But I'll let it slide. Just the, just this once, I'll let it slide. Because it's still going to go up anyway. And then we actually need another piece of glass back there. So like right here. That'll send the signal up. Oh, actually, um, that needs to be a slab. 
Bam. And then can I just get a piece of redstone on top of that? There we go. Yeah, I should probably just, like, make a little staircase right here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, this, this will all work. I love that we can crawl. It's so convenient. Have a good one, Stone. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Let's see. Does Puff Stack Iron Farm still work? It does. They have problems landing. Yeah. They'll get it sorted out. I I'm pretty confident in the engineers at SpaceX. They, 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 got, they got the skills. Seems like they know a thing or two about how to blow up a rocket. I mean, how to make a rocket blow up. I mean, how to make a reusable rocket that blows up. I mean, how to make a good rocket that doesn't blow up. <laughs> uh, we need to extend the redstone up here somehow, and I forget how that works. I think it's supposed to come from here. Or, like, from down there somewhere. Uh, sorry, I don't really do things like that, uh, Beast. Yeah, all the all the iron farms still work. Iron farms haven't changed on Bedrock for, like, years. Oh, okay, it's supposed to run into this block. Okay. Uh, okay, that's, that's what I was confused about. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, I have my chest to block forwards. Or did I install my chest yet? I might not have installed the chest yet. I think my comparator is in the wrong spot. Oops. Ah, uh, yeah, see, the comparator needs to be a block back. Because I need the redstone right here. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. I knew I knew something was wrong. I was like, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, now that we remove this torch, aka those items in the chest, it's gonna start clocking. So that's exactly what we want. Uh, we'll just put a block right here, and then, or I guess not right there. Right there, that'll be that'll be fine. And then, yeah, that that chest needs to come back by a block. It's not the most elegant solution on the back side right here, but it does actually work. And it's the back of the redstone, so who cares, right? That's my take on it. And if you don't like it, well then, you can design something better. Hmm. See, the villager hmms agree with me. Welcome in, Chain. Glad you can make it. It's like wa watching Da Vinci work, but in crayon. <laughs> that is... That's certainly a statement. Um, I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> I don't know. Is that a compliment or an insult? Like, real though. <laughs> Thanks? Question mark? <laughs> You know what? There's some really good art that's done with crayons, so... <laughs> Jeez. Man, Da Vinci would have been so stoked about modern art utensils. Been like, crayons, pens, markers, spray paint, oh my god. Man, he would have a field day. He'd be going crazy. Yeah. You see these crazy things that, like, all these renaissance artists did? Yeah, what's your excuse? You got Photoshop and, like, iPads. Why aren't you making cool things? Get out there and chisel a statue. I don't know. <laughs> these people didn't even have running water or toilets, and they're making amazing things. You ain't got no excuses. Go build me a cathedral. Well, not me specifically, but, like, go build somebody a cathedral.
Yeah, no, I know DaVinci didn't do the carvings or whatever, but like, I'm making a general point here, okay? Who, who did the carvings, though? It was one of them. It was either Michelangelo, Leonardo, Raphael. It was one of the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> That's all I know. It was one of the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> nah, people are always going to do art. AI is just going to help with it. Art's like a pretty universal human thing. I mean, even go back to cave paintings. We've been doing, we've been doing art since before, before we did anything else, really. Uh, okay, I think this is done now. In theory. Look, Ma, I built my own design. After 30 minutes, probably. Some, I, I don't know. I wasn't really keeping track. All oh, right, I gotta give this guy, get this guy back up to the top. That's, uh, that's where he belongs. <laughs> I dropped him out of the ceiling yesterday. <laughs> hey, Cookie, welcome back. Michelangelo. Ah, oh, man, have you guys seen epic rap battles of history? Renaissance versus TMNT. Michelangelo, Leonardo, Raphael, and Donatello versus Michelangelo, Leonardo, Raphael, and Donatello. It's great. It's like, the, the worst thing about it is that it's only like three minutes. That seems to be working. I'm not gonna test it any further than that. Yeah, ERB makes like some of the best videos on the internet. Hands down. They, they really got their work cut out with them for uh, everything that happened in the last two weeks, though. Like, crazy. Because they always make a video of the uh, the candidates duking it out. And uh, just got, it got complicated. Gandalf versus Dumbledore? I don't know if I've seen that one. I'm pretty sure I've seen all their videos, but I don't remember that one. That's a good... That's a good rap battle right there uh, okay so now the problem is that we need to pull all these chests out and like move them around and stuff do I have enough to make a piston I do let's make a couple of pistons actually we're always, we're always gonna need more pistons so need myself a levor get myself a levor Yeah, see, my problem is with this thing is that I never watch my tutorial. I just, like, freehand it, and then I, I'm like, why is this so difficult to build? Mm. Yeah, so that's my problem. This is going to make everything more complicated. <laughs> Okay, so now that I've completely destroyed this entire side of my, my base and torn out all the blocks, we have some very elegant redstone back here. This is something I made a tutorial on a while ago, and I can never remember how to build it because I don't watch my own tutorials. I just, like, try and freehand it, and then I mess it up inevitably, and then I gotta rebuild it twice. It's fine. It's my process. Don't question it. It's fine. <laughs> uh, but it does actually work in theory, but I need to rearrange all my chests now and get them into these chests because we're only supposed to have three double chests tall and then three wide and i just need to rearrange all of my items basically no big deal no big deal at all clip time yep <laughs> recording voice activated yeah <laughs> um ah oh man we gotta decide what drops we even want to sort out in the first place i don't think i'm gonna pull them out with the piston i think that's probably a not a great use of time. So instead, let's just... Let's make a couple extra double chests real quick. And then we'll just, like, put them over here. And then we'll have... 
an extra chest just for our inventory and then all this can just live in there for now so that's our inventory box and then we can just rearrange all this so we need to decide what nine items we want displayed uh, let's do another chest let's do a mobs drops chest definitely a nature chest and then obviously a wood chest i would go for stone as well and deep slate is a good idea valuables make sense to me and then probably a miscellaneous and that leaves us with one extra chest uh because all we got left over after that is gear books and ish and more more fish farm junk and all of that can go into like bottom bottom storage here on the bottom row stuff like that i don't have invisible item frames or any item frames i don't think oh okay i have a couple leather okay that's more than i expected actually by the way pro tip it takes one log per item frame it's the only time you're crafting these things just grab yourself one log per item frame. Bam. That's the exact amount of items you need. Okay. That worked out pretty well. So, I think the miscellaneous items should go on this bottom one right here. And then, we'll do, like, bulk stuff over here. So, we'll put, like, stone first. And then... On this one, we'll do, like, Deep Slate. And then... Prime Nature after that. And then I'd go, like, Wood. Valuables, Mob Drops. Something, something like that. Uh, so for now, we're just going to toss all the random junk in there. And then we can actually organize the chest later. Oh, we also got to get the Nether, the nether Drops. Because this is a multi-item storage system, so we're supposed to actually lay out the items in there and fill in every single slot, right? Uh, which one is that? Stone? Okay, we can go ahead and break this one out. We have not really enough stone to dedicate an entire double chest to, but that's fine. We'll figure it out. Uh, Deep Slate is going to be the next one down. Yeah, see, we need to go mining. We need to do a couple resource gathering live streams. I should probably just play for like eight hours one day and then just call it, kind of call it good, right? Some good working box. Yeah, the working box. And then this bottom one was going to be wood, right? Or was that going to be... No, it's going to be nature. Um, you know, I think it makes more sense to have that one be wood than to be nature. That's the one that we actually have the most of anyway. This was my only chest that was actually fairly organized. So sad. Too bad. It's gone. It's dead. It's over. No more organized. Why is there a fishing rod in there? You know what? Maybe it wasn't that organized. Maybe I lied. Okay, and then... That churns. There we go. Okay, stone, deep slate, wood... And we still need valuables, mob drops, and nether. And nature as well. That's, that's only four. Uh, I guess we'll do nature in this one. Since that's convenient. So happens to be right there. This is actually not a bad way of doing it. We still need to move like these couple double chests right here, but that's not a problem. Sugar cane. 
And then let's do mob drops above that. I don't know why flint's in there, but let's not worry about that right now. Yeah, I'll come back through at some point and reorganize these things. I, I never want to, like, organize chests on stream, but somehow we, we always end up doing it. It just happens. Okay, then. Uh, yeah, I threw item frames in here at some point. And then it's just a valuables chest. And then we have one spare, one empty. Compactors, two of the smelters all hooked together. Nice! That's a pretty good system, Demon. Getting all them swords smelting. You probably need a, a fuel farm for that too, right? Supply your, supply your smelting array. Where's the cookies? I didn't say anything about cookies! Nah, if you guys are talking about cookies, that is all you. I had, I had nothing to do with that. Absolutely nothing to do with that. Lava's a good fuel. Yeah, but it's manual. You have to click on the stupid furnaces. Or, not the furnaces, the cauldrons. If they made it automatic where, like, the dispensers could just take the things out, then it would be epic. Like, I don't know why that's not the case. But, alas, it tis not. Tis not indeed. Should be, but... Nope. Let's see, we got our armor trims. These stupid things. We actually... Oh, yeah. We got that from Zloy yesterday. It's like, we actually have a lot of ancient debris. No, no, we do not. <laughs> I mean, we do. I just didn't get any of it myself. Because Zloy, Zloy's a nice person. How dare he. And... Okay, that's that chest done. Yeah, so now we're just going to move around these things. Uh, honestly, all this fish farm stuff can probably just go into the fish farm. <laughs> um, or we'll, we'll find places for this in our storage system, actually. That's not a big deal. Then we're just going to have gear and a couple chests of books. Hey, pizza guy, thank you for the biddies. When am I making a bottle water farm? Little do you know... I already made a bottle of water farm. I already made one. Somehow I turned that into a nine minute video. Bam! Bottle of water farm right there in the chat for you. Can't believe you didn't know about my bottle of water farm. That's crazy. Books. Okay, so I'm thinking we're going to have like two double chests right here. I don't have a... Pick Axe. Oops, not that one. There we go. Pick Ashley. Yeah, so we can put like a, a double chest there. Double chest there. For books. Fish farm stuff we can go to mob drops. It could. But it ain't. I mean, I don't know where it's going, so. It might. <laughs> Uh, I had some of these actually set aside. Is there better books? It's like Soul Speed 3 and Mendings. Curse of Binding. Good book. Good book. <laughs> Curse of Binding. Good book. Right there. We love to see it. And then all these bows are mostly just junk. And this one right here is just overflow from the storage system. Uh, so, mob drops. Yeah, all these fish are going to go into there. 
That's where they belong. We got some nature stuff. Hey, pizza guy, welcome back for... No, you're not welcoming back for six months. You're subscribing six months in advance because you're a mad lad. Thank you so much. Jeez, hopefully you're doing good tonight. That's crazy of you. Am I getting rid of the helmet? <laughs> Slowly in 500 years when it breaks. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, one day. One day. 41 tripwire hooks. What am I what am I gonna do with 41 tripwire hooks? The audacity of Minecraft to think that I need tripwire hooks. Uh, okay, so I don't know what to do with all these bows. I normally keep leads in there. Drop a couple of anvils in my head. Listen, I I already did that. How do you think we got into this situation? I'm not just this naturally dumb. Things have happened to me. Literally some Looney Tunes stuff happened, okay? <laughs> uh, let's see. That one's all books. See, we have too much gear. Like, we could unenchant some of this iron stuff. So I don't think anyone really cares about that. And then... Oh, wait. We already have three god bows. You know what? Let's, let's get uh, a couple of these god bows laid out. So what I like to do is, these are all fish farm bows. So this is like a flame and breaking power three punch. So that needs a power and a infinity on it. So this one has got your power three. That takes you to power four with your infinity, right? And then you put another power four on that. Bam, god bow. And then same deal for this one. This one just needs punch and power four. So we got our punch two power four there. And then it's got infinity as well. So bam, that's a god bow. So what you want to do for that is find yourself a good starter bow. So a good starter bow has like three, four enchantments on it. So like this one's pretty okay, but it's got mending on it. So you don't want to start with that. Never start with a mending bow. This one's decent. I'm bringing three infinity, four, infinity and power four. Uh, so that one just needs flame and punch. So that's not too difficult to find. You can find yourself a power four. This one's got... There's an infinity. This one's got flame, right? Oh, we don't have flame. Okay, well, here's a power four flame. So, there we go. God bell. Oh, we actually don't need the infinity. What do we need? Punch two. There's a punch one. Do we not have a punch two? Okay, let's get rid of this curse of vanishing one. Uh, you know, normally we have a punch, a bunch of punches. A bunch of punch. Not the most necessary enchantment, but come on now. I'm trying to make a point here. Well, I think I burned all those bows. Yeah, it's just a bunch of punch ones. So, I mean, this is still pretty pretty close to God Bell. It's just miss missing punch two. So, that's that's three God Bells laid out. And then the rest of these we can just burn in the, in the grindstone. No! This has mending on it, right? Oh, we're probably repairing the, repairing the armor. There we go. And we probably have something else that we can repair as well. Shovel. Why not? Okay. And then all of these can just go into fuel. They're not going to smell much, but it's better than nothing, right? Yeah, or dispensers. Dispensers is good, too. Uh, so, server's about to restart. I think that only takes, like, a minute or something. Ba-bam. Goodbye. Oh, and my Java just crashed. Cool. Not good. Not good at all. My Bedrock Edition crashing, too. I got, like, a little spinny wheel on my cursor. Okay, let's try and figure out this stupid little kelp farm. 
It shouldn't be that difficult. He says, knowing it'll be difficult. We could also just build one of our little... Oh, whatchamacallit. Little zero tech kelp farms. It's like a little bone meal farm. He's a fully mended mending bell. Use a fully mended mending bow on the right slot with infinity on the left to get a fully mended infinity bow. Oh, yeah, I mean, I guess that's that's a way to do it. Um, but you could also just, like, a, use a regular bow, and then that would take you to full durability as well. But, yeah, if your mending bow has some decent enchantments on it, then you can transfer that to the infinity bow with the durability. If you wanted to. It would probably only cost you, like, one extra level to get that durability. Transfer. And hold water it? No. I mean, not their waterlogged, but otherwise, yeah. Yeah, if it's not, it's not waterlogged. So, we need a slow clock on this. And I think the way to do that is to use a repeater clock. Because that's, that's pretty standard. Do something like this. Have our dispenser right there. We can't have a repeater right here because water is going to flow out. So we would need to move that up. And then that's fine. Because you can power it with this right here. Okay. So let's put that on like four. Okay, so now we need to take the redstone output from this and power the piston. And it should be as simple as that. And then we need the water in there as well. And an off switch. So, this should, in theory, be about the smallest farm that you can get it. I would actually like it if uh, this torch was on the other side. I'm going to have the on off switch on the front of it. Like this. And then we need to power from this side still. Okay. And then we're going to use an upside down stair like we did last time. Facing this direction so the water doesn't flow out this way. Because we need, we need the stairs here to refill the water source up there. And I think that'll be it. Like, I, I think that's that's legitimately it. Besides maybe a piece of glass right there. <laughs> so yeah, it doesn't flow out this side. That's like the only piece of water logging on Bedrock Edition that actually works. This should work with trapdoors. Like, if you have a vertical trapdoor, it shouldn't spill out, but it does. Uh, but luckily, this works. So we don't need to worry about that. Water log that. And then uh, let's place a stair here momentarily so I can get myself a kelp in there. And then a piece of bone meal. And then, in theory, this should give us one kelp per, per bone meal. No, it's still... It's still not doing it. I think we need more delay on it. It's like, can we get a repeater right here? Yeah, it's just not bone mealing it at the correct time. So like we need to, we need to bone meal it first and then wait a second and then push it down. And then wait for the water to reflow and then bone meal it again. I have a system like this somewhere. Hold up. I, I didn't even think to check my other systems because I have a farm like this actually. I have a cup farm that's like this. Somewhere over yonder. Is it this one? It's not a bone meal, but yes, this is it. Allegedly, this might work. 
Uh, okay, so the timings for this are not simple. Where's the main clock on this? Jeez. Yeah, no wonder I couldn't get it to work. Huh. Okay, maybe we won't be able to fit it in there. See how much delay this has got on it down here? It's like 8 ticks. Oh, it's 12 even. Yeah, okay. That, that could explain why we had some issues there. Sometimes you just gotta go to creative and figure stuff out. But sometimes stuff is dumb. And there ain't much you can do about it. Besides, <laughs> take your toys and go home. <laughs> Four ticks there, four ticks there. I think this even had an inversion in there as well, like a redstone torch. Oh, it did produce a piece of kelp. Not very consistently, but it did produce a piece of kelp at one point. I think it might have been like this even. I don't know if that would really make a difference. And now we're out of battle mill. Cool. It's not the not the simplest system, is it? Just due to those timings. It's the water reflowing that really gets you. How's this still not right? I don't know. Gonna use comparators that delay? I mean, technically. Yeah, we could build it in the wall by the chests. See, it's bone mealing it just a tiny bit too soon. Just a tiny bit too soon. It's like we need more delay down here. I know th this is getting incredibly janky at this point, but. I have I have no counterpoint to your to your statement of it being janky. Um, <laughs> here, let's let's do it like that. Is that even gonna work anymore? I broke something. Aha! We had a kelp. A kelp did appear oh. once. If the water would just reflow faster, uh, maybe what we need to do is waterlog the piston. Would that help us at all with the water reflowing faster? It, it would not. Cool. Well, this is turned into an absolute mess of things that should, in theory, work, but really don't because... Dumb. Bone milling it at the exact moment that the water is like not there. So that's that's something I guess. We're consistently getting it to not work. There we go. Okay, that works. Mission success, everybody. And then we put a hopper minecart in there to actually collect the items. Cool. So how how many timings can we take off of this to make it smaller? Now that we have something that works, we need to break it. So we remove that water. Does it still work? No. It doesn't. I broke it already. That legitimately is actually helping. Okay. Well, if that's the case, then we don't need the side water, right? Right? Did that flow away a bunch of redstone? I feel like it did. Mm, yeah, I did. Yes, okay, so we don't need the side water. That's helpful. Okay. Okay. And now we just need to uh, refine this little section right here. 
So we just need to get like a two tick repeater down there. Can I just take it from here maybe? Because that would be fairly compact. I feel like that's probably going to be a no. But we'll try it anyway. Oh, right. Okay, so they're both powering that. Um, well, we can, like, move it down, I guess. That's working, but I... I don't know what's powering the... The dispenser. Oh, this right here is powering the dispenser. Okay. Well, look at that. We, we fixed it. And thank you for the raid. Welcome in, Will. How you doing? I didn't even realize that was powering it this whole time. Okay, then. That's all it takes. We did it, boys. Congratulations. <laughs> it's, uh, stupid. But we did it. Let's turn it off and make sure that it still works. It still works! Okay. Well, then. Mission success. That's not so bad. First try. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Um, how can we compact it down is the question. It doesn't seem like there's really going to be a great way to do it. Um, having the water flow out to the side isn't ideal. I think our bubble column is like right here, though. So in theory, we should be able to get away with this. Now we gotta do the fam click test. I mean, it just wastes a little bit of bone meal. Maybe. Does it even waste bone meal if it is like... Oh, it does. Wow, that's cool. Good job, Minecraft. You shouldn't do that, but you do anyway. Okay, then. Well, let's get back on the server. We'll figure it out. Let's do it. Yay! That turned out a lot smaller than I was thinking it would, so that's good. Maybe my other one was just a little bit overbuilt to uh, work around the problems that I was having. Okay, uh, but yeah, we gotta go ahead and uh, rebuild all this before we get carried away too much. This is Deep Slate. Ooh, regular Deep Slate? We need a way to cobble regular Deep Slate without placing it and breaking it again. Because regular Deep Slate is nasty. What can I say? Okay, these are basically all god rods as well. I got all of these from fishing. Rod rod. <laughs> and they just need to be repaired a little bit. Uh, we'll go ahead and burn all of this iron gear. Because we just don't need it. It's pretty good iron gear, but like... I wish it was diamond. It'd be nice if we had a way to upgrade diamond or upgrade iron gear. We're about to be working over there. Do I have anything else to repair? Uh, pickaxe. And then... Aho! Uh okay, now we're talking. And then the rest of this is just experience. Okay. Not too bad. We could smelt this down for iron nuggets. <laughs> we really, really wanted to. There we go. 36 levels. It's not horrible. The upgrade template. Yeah, why, why can't we use an upgrade template on iron gear? Get all these lovely enchantments brought onto the iron gear. I think that would be great. Right then. Got to keep these bows organized because these are laid out for being upgraded. And then I think... Oh yeah, this is all binding gear. Yeah, I don't think there's anything useful I can do with this binding gear. Besides put it on and suffer. Should I do that? Oh wait, I already did.
yeah, all this is garbage, basically. And then I think this is our, like, day one iron gear right here. I always like to save it. I don't know. I'm nostalgic, I guess. Tried it. That's useful. I usually try to put, like, the, the buckets and leads and shears and stuff like that, the useful things, in, in kind of like an adventuring box. But I don't really have one of those. It doesn't work out great for multi-use order. So they just end up getting tossed into the gear box. Do you guys keep your, your like, early game armor? Just just for the funsies of it? Yeah, it's only calling content creators on Julie Bedrock. We're, we're uh, Bedrock uh, YouTube SMP, basically. Yeah. Think of your, your Hermitcrafts or your Minecrafts or your Legacies or your, your all that stuff. I need to update that little, that little command, don't I? Okay. You throw them in lava? Wow. That is so rude. But I, I guess it's your armor. I mean... You, you don't like looking back at it seeing far, how far you've come? Like, oh, wow. I remember those days. Yesterday. It's crazy. Uh, let's see. We need stairs there. We're gonna go ahead and fill in this side, and then the stairs at the bottom. I remember when I was a Minecraft noob. Ah, oh, the good old days of about five minutes ago. <laughs> you yep. know, how times have changed. Oh, hi, there's not a floor right there. Guess there could be. Yeah, I kind of want to put my anvil on the floor. Seems a bit more convenient. Just have it right there. Okay, that's not so bad looking. And then we just got to fill this in and we'll just put like some stairs going across right here. A stair right there. I guess we'll turn these upside down. That way they're all matching. The only thing I don't like about the system is how high the chest is. Like the input chest right there. You almost need like a stair just to reach that a little more comfortably. Okay, we can't have a block right there, but we can put a block there. We can put a couple of stairs up above that chest to hide the dirt texture. And we can put a block right there. And that should about do it. Ah, uh, you can still see that dirt right there. Maybe we just replace that one with a, with a plank. Can we do that? There we go. Looks fairly good. Oh, yeah, that's so much nicer. Oh, man, that's so good. That's great. We actually did a good. Make it the start of the second floor. Oh, yeah, that could be good. Yeah, so if we had a second floor... Um... Or, um, we have eight blocks to work with right now, so one of them's gonna have to be, one of them's gonna have to be three. Wait, Titan the R is the cam account, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, we also need to figure out lighting, because we got, like, <laughs> I thought this villager was named Silent 2 for a second. <laughs> I looked over, I was like, what? Silent 2 villager? Who, who has disgraced this lovely villager, though? Your good armor is usually your first armor. You don't wear no peasant junk. Ah! Oh! Very nice. Very good. I approve this message. Oh, yeah, we need to build up the, the cup farm real quick. I already forget how to build that, so that'd be, that'd be fun to remember. Yeah, it looks pretty decent, doesn't it? That's not so bad. We're going to get rid of that torch up there, I guess. And then... 
Wow, block lag, my guys. I swear I'm good at pillaring, it's just the game hates me. It will, maybe we'll do like two right there. So we can do that going all the way around. Oh my cat. I can't even pillar up two blocks. That's all, that's all, that's how bad it is. It's not how bad I am, it's just how bad the game is. Then it used to happen on servers. It's kind of a, kind of a new issue. Okay, the storage system is looking pretty decent now. So we got our nine double chests here. We even have an extra one. We got our stone blocks, deep slate, wooden materials, nether, valuables, mob drops, um, you know, crop farms and stuff like that. And then miscellaneous random junk. Always got to have a miscellaneous random junk box. It, it has a special place in all of our hearts. And then we also got our little unsorted chest down here just for gear. And another one for enchanted books since this is a multi-item storage system. It doesn't sort non-stackable items you want to sort non-stackables got to use some allays and ain't nobody got time for that right now so we did figure out how to build the kelp farm but more importantly our egg farm has produced its first eggs this is a groundbreaking revelation for the ages and i i thought it was really important to tell you <laughs> really really important guys You agree, don't you? Oh. Okay, it's just not working. Cool. My infinite water source was too good. Okay. And then we'll break out this. Uh, we can actually leave that there. That's fine. And then we should have everything that we need for this. Oh, no. We need, like, a an extra repeater and some whetstone torches. How could a dispenser up and shoot eggs? $20 in stream. Come play Fortnite. Much you. And you. Counter offer, you wait 10 minutes and then you don't need to bribe anybody. <laughs> Maybe. No. Okay. Well, sorry guys, that's all that's all I got for the day. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh let's see, we just gotta figure out figure out this stupid thing. You're impatient. I did not notice. In all the years that we've been friends. Did not notice. Come on, piston. That's why we're friends now. Deal with it. Come on, Piston. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Quick salt. Ban Fortnite. <laughs> Counter, counter offer. We turn it into a Fortnite stream. No. See, two can play this no game. Uh, that could be a slab. Oh, wait. Does it need to be a block higher? It da mm, does it? I'm not sure where the redstone goes, actually. It's probably an important thing to figure out, though. I'm not sure if it powers the block above the dispenser or if it's powering the dispenser directly. I think it's the block above, though. Do give me a hundred stream too much longer. <laughs> that's that's a funny idea. But don't. Ban. Um <laughs> stream longer just to make the creeper wait. <laughs> you know, I like where this is going. Why be participating in the no no game show? No, I forgot to sign up for that. You see, if I had to if I participated in that, it would force me to actually make truly bedrock videos. And then, like, we can't have that. Now, can we? You got the cyber truck already? Okay, now I know that you're no-lifing. 
Yeah, they had the Cybertruck to... I almost said Minecraft. No. <laughs> to Fortnite. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure this was on four ticks. Oh no! <laughs> I, I did not think about that. <laughs> that could have been so bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Our farms might be not completely separate. It's fine, don't worry about it. Someone did add Minecraft. Oh, you know, I'm not surprised. It can't trust anybody nowadays. Oh no! This isn't gonna work. We're supposed to be powering this block. And that block's part of the piston door. I don't care if this piston gets powered from this. Like, that's fine. Who cares, right? But. This is outside. Ooh. No, it's not gonna work. We have gone outside the realm of what is, what is allowed. What is allowed? Hmm. Hmm. Huh, well. Uh, we, we could make it work. We could make it, we could make it, we could make it work. Pull a forward a block. We could. That would be fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's. I think, I think that would work. Yeah, we could still put something in the wall right there, though. Sorry, Creeper, you got to wait an extra ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll just pull forward. That'll be fine. Uh... Okay. So our kelp farm might have might have been clocking and uh, opening up the trap door. No, okay, I was doing that for demonstration purposes. Get back in your farm. Yeah, that's right. Get back in there. Uh, anyway, we lost three quarters of our chickens due to that exact process right there. And they just straight up walked straight outside this door. So luckily, we have an egg farm, and I don't need you. That's right. Get on out of here. You're not welcome in my base. No, -uh. I got better chickens than you. That was. Not my finest moment, but uh, we, we will survive. We will survive. Like I said, chicken farms, uh, egg farms, very complicated. Very complicated build. Incredibly complex. You see how easy it is to mess up. <laughs> I don't know who that is. I don't get your references, Creeper. <laughs> Okay, that's actually part of that build. Why is it so difficult to just jump around this thing? There we go. That's that's the kind of thing that Smetrix would say. Uh, you can't make me. I have chip muted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen, I'm I'm an uncon uncultured swine. Okay, uncultured swine. That's me. I know I know nothing about anything. <laughs> you need to educate this man. 
I don't know who Gary is either. Listen. Even if they were modern. I don't listen to music or anything. I assume that this is a music thing. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a music person. Can't force me. Ah! Get out of here, chicken. I thought I thought you left. Oh, I need a rail is what I need. You couldn't live with your failure, and where did that bring you? Right back to me. Uh-uh, there ain't no getting back into your farm. Ain't no getting back in there. Well, you know what? On second on second thought, why, why don't you come into my little farm right here? Why don't you? Come on. You're a good chicken. Right? Come on, come on. No, oh, well, okay, I see how it is. He's just, he's mocking me. He's mocking me. Yeah, okay, fine. Get out of here. Don't let the door crush you on the way out. Is this thing still... Oh, it's still gonna do that. Okay, so we have to... We have to power this from somewhere else. It'd be so funny if I put like 100 chickens in there. And then somebody unflicked this, and then they just all got out. That'd be so funny. That'd be great. I'd love it. Okay, we are going to speed this along. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We don't do anything quick around here. Speed running? Never heard of it. Slow running? Now that's where we're at. Let's see. All oh, right, we gotta add the red sun to the back. Yeah, see, we still need to get ourselves a three tick repeater in here somewhere, and a redstone torch, and a dust. Do you water your sidewalk? What? The piston door just opened somehow? Or no, maybe it was that farm. Never mind. Oh, I, I still don't think it's gonna fit. Okay, so we could put it like right here. And then so we don't we don't we don't want it to be be messed up by that. And then it would have to go up. And then three tick repeater right here would power this block which then powers the redstone that goes down and then we put a yeah so want to work um oh we could just raise up this by block I, I suppose no that has to be there so that's how this whole th system's getting powered uh hmm well we're quite in the pickle aren't we I'm quite the pickle. And it, it ain't happening. Man, even even with moving it forward. It's just not enough room with the piston door right here. Target block. Okay, so block here, repeater. That would that would give us the delay that we need. And then because we could just have a redstone right here. Uh, yeah, yeah, we could do a target block right there. That would that would do it. That's such a bad solution. Let's. I'm. I love it. Do I have a repeater? I don't. Still don't have a repeater. There we go. I just hope this thing actually works, shall we? Oh, right. Oh, no. We need to waterlog the piston is the problem. Yeah, no, it's not going to work right here. No. Burn, burn it all down. 
Yeah. Yeah, no, it's not gonna work right here. It's a it's a good little design. It's just it's just too cramped in here with the corner, with the bubbles and and with the pistons and things and the door. Yeah. Even if we rotated the redstone on switch, I don't think that would really help us either. Um, unless maybe no, because we got the button right there. No. Well, we tried. We gave it, we gave it a serious, valiant effort to get this little farm in here, and uh, it's just it's just not quite compact enough. I think we can fit something else right here. Like we can probably fit a little bee farm right here. That would that would probably work. But this this particular build is not gonna fit. Dang, I really wanted to get that in there. I was willing to make all, all kinds of ugly to make that work. And it just... It failed us. We even lost all of our chickens to it. Ah, oh, dang. <laughs> well, I mean, we got the egg farm in there. That's pretty good. I do think we can fit something right here. Like, this is an amount of space that we can do something with. So, let's get some, like, beehives in there, or another such farm. And that should be fine, but, like, the the kelp farm, like, it would fit in this corner. Perfect. Or we could build it into the wall, or it would probably fit in this little nook right here. We might even be able to, like, churn the fish farm this way, and then fit it in that corner. Let's grow two farms and a door. Yeah, we... We did what we could. We did what we could. We, we tried, guys. We tried. Uh, but anyway, that is about going to do it for tonight's live stream, everyone. Hopefully you have enjoyed, though. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, we should be live again on a Thursday. And then we uh, will be finishing up this little this little micro base. Uh, I, wanted, I need to do a longer live stream here at some point. That way we can actually get some serious progress done because it's kind of hard to get stuff done in two hours uh anyway we're gonna end by raiding someone as we always do so let's jump into another stream who we got who we got to raid we got liara streaming from the tv server you guys know the deal drop a follow on their channel tell them where you came from and then i'll see you guys over there and in the next one have a good one